What's going on everybody? It is the one and only Q from Retro Q Game and back at it as always. And I'm going to try to keep this video as short, sweet and concise as possible. Now we have the upcoming ninth generation of consoles from Sony and Microsoft coming later this year in the forms of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. The fact that I'm using the Xbox's real name tells you how serious I am just in this video. Now, to cut to as much of the point as possible, Microsoft, your games are just not up to scratch anymore. There were a time when first party Microsoft games commanded quality. They were up there. They were almost legendary. They were synonymous with a quality game, a quality product, and a reason to own the console. However, over the last, well, it's probably been about five, but some would argue seven years at this point, that it is no longer the case. There are very, very few games this generation from Microsoft as it is, and most of them are mediocre at best, many of which subpar. However, I will say, just to be fair, there are a couple of games, a very, very small few, that are above average. Gears of War 4, Gears of War 5 are probably the only ones that come to mind. Halo 5 is average at best, and I can't really credit them for the Master Chief Collection. It's just a bunch of remasters of old games, as much as I love it. But everything else is pure trash. To put it into one simple sentence, Microsoft, your games, the quality, this ain't it, dog. You got stomped this generation. Hardware, price, and then questionable issues at the start aside, your games were just not there for the entire generation. So what am I talking about? Well, other than the usual suspects that I just mentioned already, with the likes of Gears 4, Gears 5, Halo 5 coming out, sporadically, I say sporadically because it's once every couple of years, everything else is mediocre at best or just below average. Quantum Break is probably Remedy's worst game, one of their only two high-profile bad games. That and Control. But Control doesn't factor into the equation because, when you look at it, this Quantum Break was PC and Xbox. At the time, Xbox and Windows 10, but that's a whole other story. But it's really indicative when you look at the quality of everything else going forward after that, outside of their flagship franchises. State of the K2, Sea of Thieves, that new Bleeding Edge, Grounded, Crackdown 360. There's a bunch of other ones that I can't even remember because they are so irrelevant at this point. So I don't know what they're doing or not doing to these studios that they either should not be doing or should be doing to these studios, but it's clearly clearly not working. They need to turn this around next generation. There's no question about it. Someone's gonna go, oh, but Q, what about Hellblade 2? Yeah, Hellblade 1 was a pretty niche game despite being multi-platform as well. But now it's only gonna be on one ecosystem and PC. Now, who knows, Microsoft could completely shock us all next generation and have the best, I hate to use the term because it doesn't apply to Microsoft, but I'll do it anyway, exclusive, there's air quotes there, games, but we all know they don't have any exclusive games anymore. But all of this that I mentioned, all of this that has been basic public knowledge for everyone except a hardcore Xbox fanboy out there, this is all highlighted, pinpointed, and just put with a full exclamation mark by one thing that just randomly popped into my mind earlier on, and I tweeted out just a little while ago. But out of nowhere, it just occurred to me that the last PlayStation 3 game, not the PlayStation 4, but the last PlayStation 3 game I bought was better than any brand new game that Microsoft put out on the Xbox One. That includes new entries in series that were already ongoing or just brand new IPs. Their brand new IPs have been absolutely dirt. But to paraphrase it real quick, the Last of Us has been better than anything I have played brand new from Microsoft. Hopefully they step it up next generation. The Xbox Series X already looks like a joke to many people, myself included. Of course, for some reason I will be buying it. But anyway, really, really, really hope we're not looking at another next generation of mediocre at best games. And maybe one good one every three or four years. Microsoft, get your shit together or else get out of the game and make like Sega.